More signage in a traffic study. The city of San Antonio has its wheels turning towards safer measures after a cyclist hit and killed on the city's north side last month. That fatal crash happened back on March 17th on Northeast Loop 410 near the Los Patios entrance. Now, police say the cyclist disregarded a stop sign there on the access road, but a city advisory board says that intersection itself can be dangerous and needs improvements. Alicia Barrera spoke to the board's chair on what's needed to make the Salado Creek Greenway safer. Be careful, they haul through here. Caution. It's on the minds of cyclists and posted high and low as people approach this crossing under Loop 410 and across the entrance of Los Patios. You have to slow down. You have to look over your shoulder for sure. While cyclists are instructed to unmount and walk their bike to prevent accidents. The traffic is going 45 miles an hour. That's a high rate of speed. Frank Cardone and his friends say they prefer not to. No, I'll stop and I'll look uh, if, if I can't see and then I'll, I'll start up once I know it's clear. This even after police say a cyclist, 53 year old Craig Gulledge, was hit and killed after he reportedly did not dismount his bike and rode into the path of a westbound vehicle. And here's the issue. When you're going north on the greenway, whether you're walking or cycling, you almost have to stick your neck out to make sure the coast is clear. Which is why the Parks and Rec Department's Linear Creekway Parks Advisory Board is petitioning for a traffic study. A traffic engineer will look at all the conditions, the speed limit, um, the, the crossing itself, uh, and then recommend um, additional traffic calming measures. That project could come in the next six months, but already the city has installed a new sign to once again encourage cyclists to slow down and dismount their bikes. It makes me reevaluate uh, my decisions and be sure not take any shortcuts. Alicia Barrera, KSAT 12 News.